Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to do an exciting video because we get to play with a brand new product that is not really on the market just yet, right? Now, some of you may know that I'm in the B&Q partner program. So B&Q sent over the PD3220U, that's a 4K monitor, top of the line for professional graphic artists, right? So we're going to do a review of that today. And what I'm going to do is instead of boring you guys with 20 minutes of unpacking cardboard boxes and whatnot, I put up a sequence of uh, images with all the relevant information. We're going to put some nice tunes into that. So you can check that out at your leisure. And then when that's done, we're going to go back in and we're going to talk a little bit more. OK, so let's check it out. Here we go. Hey everybody, now that we checked that out, let's have a look at the hotkey puck and see how that works, all right? So, uh, I'm just in Photoshop here, and here's our puck. Uh, you have the main knob in the, in the center right there. And if you just press that down, you'll see that will open up the on-screen display right there. And then by scrolling that wheel, you can go up and down. And I'll just go to color, and let's press on that, and it will jump to the right. And I can do that again, and jump to the right again. And I can go in and change settings if I like. Let me just go back. Let's say I want to accept that. I'll uh, hit that. And then here on the top left corner, you have a return button that will go back and will go back. So that's where you can have a lot of settings changed. 
Now also here you have these three presets. So the one on the right here is Display P3, the one down here is sRGB, and this one is MBook, and that's the one I'm using, okay? So that in short is how you use the hotkey puck. Now in general, uh, looking at the monitor here, what's important for me is uh, color accuracy. Uh, when I'm working for clients and I got a certain color that I need to meet exactly, uh, I wanna make sure that I have the opportunity to calibrate the screen uh, well, and I did that with the spider. Uh, also, I wanna make sure that I have um, a range that is high enough. So this is a 10-bit monitor that helps. That means that you have well over 1 billion colors instead of 1 million, which is typical for an 8-bit monitor. And uh, all in all, I like the design. Now, for me, this is not a huge surprise uh, because I've been using it for a couple of years now. And also, my other screen here, that's the PD3200U. This is the 3220U, okay? So um, yeah, that's my first impression. Uh, I like it so far. I'm gonna do an update in, I would say a couple of months or so to see how it holds up. But uh, like I said, I've been using these screens for years and it meets my need for sure. Okay guys, well, thank you for hanging out for the review. Uh, I thought it was fun. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, of course, it's too soon to have an in-depth uh, review. I mean, I just got uh, the monitor. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to do a review in a couple of months or so. Uh, but, uh, you know, base your opinion on the facts, on the numbers, and uh, go from there, okay? So uh, have fun with that. Uh, hopefully you will make the right choice, and uh, see you guys soon. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.